this should come as no surprise as Coach Prime has already told y'all what he was going to do. He said what he was going to do. He said the first time before the spring game, all the guys who left, it was their decision. They walked out. They quit. Now, after the spring game, dog, that's going to be me. That's going to be us, my staff. We're going to make those calls. We're going to make those decisions. And he is cleaning house from all these players who didn't uh, uh, live up to uh, standards or didn't produce or didn't do this, whatever it was, don't, they don't think they're going to play. Um, they don't have the confidence in themselves. The coaching staff might have told them they're not going to play. They got a bunch of guys coming in at their position, whatever the case may be. They're mad they didn't get their number, whatever the case may be. Coach Prime and his crew said, hey, hit that transfer portal, dog. Hit the transfer portal, dog. Go somewhere where you can play. Go somewhere where you'll fit in. Go somewhere where you'll get some recognition, dog. Because here, we're bringing in a bunch of big dogs. I'm talking about B-I-double-G's, D-O-double-G's. And they coming in this thing to wreck shock, take positions, not sit behind nobody, to make this whole squad a lot better than what it is right now. And that goes with some change. It goes with a lot of change. As a matter of fact, Coach Prime said that 40, 40, 20 is his formula. 40% grad transfer students, 40% transfer students, period, and 20% of high school players. That's what he's going after. He's trying to bring in some grown men, not a bunch of guys who he needs to develop, but grown men who's ready to get after it right now, who's been through college programs, who should have a grown man body, should have that grown man strength to play in those trenches. That's why in the trenches, you won't see a bunch of uh, four or five star guys, 23, 24 guys coming up. You're going to see him go after trans fur guys, especially trans grad guys who's already graduated, got one or two years left, whether it's from an injury, whether it's just from the COVID, whether it's from whatever. He wants those grown men, 21 years old, 22 years old and up. That's what he wants on that defensive line. And as far as replacing these guys who's left, you got plenty of recruits coming in, dog. Plenty of recruits coming in, dog. As far as wide receiver go, I'm sure the wide receivers who are there now like uh, or who just decided to leave, Montana Lamonius Craig, Jordan Tyson, and uh, whoever else, they see what's on the horizon. They see Adam Hopkins, Omarion Miller, uh, Jordan O. They see Asim Wasim, Wasim stepping up in practice. They see Caleb Mathis. They see Mikey Harrison. They see uh, Xavier Weaver, uh, Fast Willie Gaines coming in, Jimmy Horn balling out. They, they're like, damn, they keep signing guys left and right at my position. Am I good enough to stay? Should I stay or should I go? Whatever it is, you need to make your decision. And a lot of them have made their decision today as they're dipping out of Boulder, bouncing out of Boulder, bolting out of Boulder, just riding out, <laughs> getting out and riding out, trying to go to another school. Hopefully they find a nice destination for them. They should be looking at Jackson States. They should be looking at UABs. They should be looking at North Texases and so on. Uh, in some other big schools for a guy like Lamonius Craig. So big time shifting going on. This is a fluid roster for Coach Prime. And I see nothing but improvements happening. Let me know what you think. Leave a like, subscribe, comment on other good stuff. We're about to say some of these. Yeah.